Hi buddy, say hello to your fans. Too much attention on the vehicle and not on you. Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing and welcome back to another weekend wash. I know, it's been a while. I haven't put out one of these videos in a while. We have been so busy over the past couple of weeks that I haven't had a chance to care for our own vehicle, but that's okay. It actually hasn't been driven that much and just a little bit of dust and pollen. Yeah, that's right, pollen. It's towards the end of February and we already have daffodils and trees budding. In fact, some of the cherry trees are already starting to bud. Super happy about that because I want this winter to be over. Spring is just around the corner. I'm really happy about that. Well, in today's video, we're going to wash our own vehicle and I'm going to be using a variety of products as well as using these two products here from a company called OE. Now they reached out to us and sent us some samples and these are two of the four that they sent us. Now we have their Pink Fancy, which is a spray wax and we also have their Black Tie, which is a tire dressing. So we'll be using these two products today. We will be also using Meguiar's Citrus Blast Wash and Wax. It's a great product to use for maintenance washing, super slick, nice and foamy, great for washing your own vehicle if it already has protection on it. And we'll be using some other products to clean the tires and the wheels as well. So stay tuned guys, let's get started. Hi, what? Oh, mister, uh-huh, what else? What else? Really? Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Really? Really? He's being ridiculous. He is. So I'm gonna start on the wheels, and I don't always start on the wheels because it's just personal preference, just personal choice. But so many people are dogmatic about, you need to do this first, you need to do that, and these are the reasons why. Personal choice. I've done it both ways makes no difference. So don't be a dogmatic detailer. It's just ridiculous. If you have your own way of doing it for your own reasons, you do it your way. Don't tell others that you have to do it the other way. It makes no sense. All right, so I am going to foam up my wheel bucket. Just put a little bit, ugh, <laughs> that came out really fast. Just put a little bit of soap in there, foam it up, because I find that you do get some cleaning action, but it creates some nice foam and you don't get a lot of kickback from the wheel brush that is. There we go, that's nice. And I'm gonna use 303 tire and rubber cleaner on the tires, just because I have it. And it seems to be a pretty nice uh, tire cleaner. And then I'll use Super Clean for wheel wells and the wheels. Again, do you have to pre-rinse? It's up to you. If you don't want your chemicals to be diluted with water, that's fine. If you do wanna pre-rinse to get off most of the stuff, again, that's fine. You do what works for you. Mister is noisy today. He does not wanting me giving too much attention to this vehicle. <laughs> and since this is just a maintenance wash, I'm keeping this very simple. Again, guys, this is just a weekend wash in my own vehicle. So I'm not going to get too nitty gritty about what I'm doing here. This is just my own vehicle. That's looking great. So I'll get the rest of these tires done and then we'll move on to the paint. This stuff produces some nice thick foam. That's nice. Now I have technician's choice ceramic detail spray on this. Wow, that is nice. Man, that is nice stuff.
nice sheeting, nice beading. Wow, that is amazing. I'm just gonna rinse down everything first, and then we'll see what happens. Now, yes, this does have some wax properties in the soap that I'm using, but it's, it's not like what you think. It's not gonna leave a thick layer of wax behind and no, that's not what it's going to do. It's just a gentle shampoo. It's more on the neutral scale. And yeah, it's, that's just really nice. It cleans really well. Let's rinse off as I go along. It hasn't changed the properties at all of the protection on there. Still the same. So guys, I've been getting some goofy comments about certain wash processes, both interior and exterior. Basically just people who want to give their advice, but doing it in a bad way. Basically being very dogmatic about what they're saying saying that their way is the best. It should be done this way, not your way. It gets better results, it's faster, yada, yada, yada. Well, if you're being dogmatic about things like that, I would never listen to your advice because you're not allowing for certain freedoms for certain experimentation. You're simply saying your way is the best and the other person's is wrong. That is some of the worst advice to give is to say to someone, do it my way or else you're wrong. That's horrible. Even when you see me do certain things or, I don't know, give my own advice or say, this is what works for me, this is great. Or even tutorials and how-tos. Don't just take my word for it. You can also pick up the tools, pick up the products and do it yourself. If it works, excellent. If it doesn't, well then, Give real advice. Don't just say, no, that's not the way it works. Say, it didn't work for me because of A, B, and C. Give the reasons. Detailing can be very subjective because it all depends on the vehicle you're working with, the products you use, the temperatures, where you are in the country. There's a lot of things that it depends on. Well, I just realized that I never turned on the GoPro, so sorry. So take detailing advice with a grain of salt, trying to understand the person's objective, their experience, and all the different elements that go into detailing. Where you are in the country, what products you have, and what type of detailer are you? Are you just a basic washer who just wants to improve? Or are you a super high-end detailer that has a certain way of doing things because you're charging a certain price? Take all those things into consideration. And don't just say, you're wrong, I'm right. Now, what about experience? If someone says they have 40 plus years of experience and you only have five or 10, whatever the case may be, does that mean that they are the ultimate authority? You be the judge because someone can be doing it wrong for 20 to 40 years. Let's take, for example, the body shops. How long have they been in business? How many people have they trained? What type of business do they do? Well, they can paint cars. Can they detail them? No paint correctionists and uh, people who polish vehicles know that to be a fact that body shops 99% of the time do not know how to finish paint. They create holograms, they mess up paint, they burn through, they have a lot of experience, but does that make them the authority? Do they actually know what they're doing? So be wary about that type of advice. Also be wary about how they respond to you. If they're aggressive, if people are aggressive telling you that you're doing something wrong and they're really being nasty about it, then they're probably wrong. No need to get nasty about it. Just give friendly advice. If someone's being nasty about giving advice, I will not listen to them. I will never learn anything from someone who has a nasty attitude or who treats you disrespectfully. I would never learn from anyone like that. That person needs to change. They may have valuable advice. You need to treat people with respect. Then people will listen to you. And if I need to correct something that I may be doing wrong, according to someone else, I'll look into it. 
but I might go back to the way that I was doing it before because it was actually getting better results. So I know that was a little bit of a rant, but something that needed to be said because there is a lot of bullying going on with some detailers, lots of controversy, lots of drama, and unfortunately, it affects me too. I don't want to get caught up in it, but in an attempt to try to answer some people, well, I try to answer them graciously, and uh, it usually comes back to bite me because you can't communicate that very well through text, uh, through writing, an Instagram post, or on YouTube. There's only so much that you can communicate. And even if I try to turn it around and make it humorous, that's also very hard to communicate because it just sounds like you're making fun of them when I'm not. I'm simply saying, it doesn't really make sense, but you do you, whatever. I get caught up in it myself. And the reason I get caught up in it is because I hate to see people get bullied. It's a horrible reality of society. Kids deal with it in school, they get bullied, they get pressured, they get made fun of, and what usually happens? A lot of horrible things. Bullying should never happen, period. The fact that it's part of the school system is horrendous. The fact that it's part of the detailing world also, bullies are bullies. So, unfortunately, we have to deal with them. So check this out, guys. It's beautiful and sunny out right now. And look, the daffodils already popping up. Look at them all. Crazy, right? So here's the paint, washed, rinsed. That is Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. That is Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. That is the last coat here. Actually topped off with AMP. Get out of here. Now I don't have any other protection on the doors here. However, look at the trim. This was protected with Extreme Solutions Restore, which is this stuff right here. It's a trim, restore, and protectant. That looks really nice. Now, it looks like it's taken a little bit of a beating, like it's faded a little bit, but it's still beating water. So it's definitely still there, but it did fade back just a little bit. But again, not horrible. Kind of faded in that line where the water, where the water is. But again, that's not too bad at all. So let's dry the vehicle and, uh, and let's test out some other products. Now I could use a drying aid like the Technician's Choice stuff, but I'm just not. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and just let the protection do its thing to truly do a real world test. Now these towels you can buy on Car Supplies Warehouse. They are from the rag company. They're big waffle weave drying towels. They do soak up a lot of water. They're not quite like the other big microfiber towels. It does hold water, but you can wring these out a little bit easier because they will absorb really well but they do get saturated quickly. Yes, it probably would be better to blow dry it, but that's not what I'm doing right now. All right, guys, so the first product that we're going to be using is their Pink Fancy Spray and Wax. And I'm gonna try a couple of different ways. I'll spray onto the panel and wipe it, and then I'll also spray onto the towel. Let's spray onto the towel first. So I'm gonna shake it up, make sure that this is, there we go. And just apply it very evenly. And I'm in full sun here. Wow, that's really easy to use. And I'm gonna kind of over apply it and just see if it makes a difference. Whoa, okay. That is nice stuff. Wow, that's very easy to use and incredibly slick. Okay guys, hold on one second. This is just too cute. I had to get this on film. If I give him attention, then he wants to keep whining and complaining, but if I ignore him, this is what he does. Okay, enough being distracted. Okay, so again, let me just show you. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna over apply it just to test it. 
What happens if you over apply this product? Absolutely nothing. It, it's so, it's so slick. Okay guys, this, this is a win. This stuff is a win. That was extremely easy to use. Even when over applying it, I just keep spraying it and spraying it and there's no smudging, there's, there's no streaking, there's nothing. Absolutely amazing. If you remember, there's actually a line right there. We corrected this side and left this side all swirly. As you can see, there's no streaking, nothing. It's just clear. That is awesome, and it's just so slick. That's what we need, a super easy to apply whack with no streaking. So let's use this on the glass. I'm just gonna spray it on the glass, over apply, just because. And same result. Wow. No streaking whatsoever. That's awesome. This stuff is amazing. I am really impressed. I'm basically using this like a quick detailer and a spray wax. This stuff is awesome. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, for a mobile detailer in the real world, using it in direct sunlight on a black vehicle, I'm having absolutely no issues with it. Super easy to use and I'm over applying it on purpose. That's kind of the criteria. Full sun, black vehicle, over apply and put it on paint and glass. If it reacts well and it doesn't leave any type of streaking, that's a win for mobile detailers. Awesome. Okay, so here's the tire. It's been cleaned. It's been drying here in the sun. <sighs> Seriously? Oh boy. So we're gonna use Mr.'s tail and apply the OE black tie, right? Well, if you're here working with me, you gotta do something. All right, here, let me take your tail. I'm gonna spray it on your tail. No, I'm not gonna spray it on the cat's tail. Goodness. All right, so it's clean. Yeah, looking good. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna apply this just with this little applicator, make it super easy, and you can get into nooks and crannies and stuff with an applicator like this. You can just kind of smush it onto the tire. So let's see what this stuff can do. Oh boy. All right, so let's see what this stuff can do. I'm gonna shake it up, make sure the little button here is off. So this seems to be maybe a solvent-based tire dressing, I'm not sure. I'll do some research and find out. However, because of its viscosity here, pretty, uh, pretty, you know, thin, it actually works into the rubber really well which usually solvent-based dressings do. Ooh, that's, huh, that's interesting. All right, yep, it's definitely solvent-based, I can smell it, but that's, that's pretty nice. Now I don't want it too glossy, so I may knock it down a little bit after this. Yeah, I just work it into these little grooves and stuff with this, you just kind of push it in there. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's leave this to dry. We'll come back to it in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we moved on to the passenger side front tire. Just gonna pat it dry a little bit. Get the water out of the nooks and crannies. And again, we're just going to spray it onto the applicator and just easily work it into the rubber. You can push it into these little grooves in the lettering and it seems to work really well. So the pros and cons of this product, I would say cons that it's solvent based. I am not a big solvent based dressing person. However, I do realize that they last longer because they essentially soak into the rubber better. However, the pros are that the pros are the ease of application and no waste of product. I mean, I'm being very exacting and making sure that I spread the product out, that I use all the product that's in the pad as best as I can, because as a mobile detailer, as a detailer in general, you don't want to be wasting product. You want product to go a long way. That is nice. That looks really nice. Now these tires aren't the greatest. I've tried many different dressings on these tires. They'll look good for a while and then they start to fade kind of weird and not really and not really look good. Attribute that to the rubber, the tire itself. It, they're cheap tires. If there were a nicer brand of tire, dressings would probably adhere better. I found that to be the case. Cheap tires, it doesn't matter what dressing you put on them, sometimes they just don't look good. Sometimes. It all depends on the tire. If you want, you can go crazy 
and apply this just by spraying alone. I just did that to this tire here. I just put one coat and you can see how glossy it is. I'm not a fan of this look. If you don't knock it down, if you don't at least wipe some of the excess and work it into the rubber, it's gonna sling onto your vehicle. That's another con for solvent-based dressings is they do tend to sling. Some water-based do also. It all depends on how you apply it. Do you just spray it on and let it dry and drip dry and have that greasy wet look? Or do you work it into the tire so that there's no excess? It just works into the rubber, soaks in, makes it look nice and dark and rich. I guess it's your personal preference. If you like this look, then this will produce it. I don't know, I'm not a fan of it and I don't really recommend it because of the sling that it has. But, I mean, it does make it look nice. But this is the dressing after it's dried a little bit. Let's go into the other side. Now this has been drying in the sun and this was not over applied. This is just one application applied with the microfiber applicator. And look how nice and dark and rich it looks. That's really nice. I'd rather have the tire look like this because it just looks like brand new rubber. That's beautiful. As opposed to this. Really glossy, really shiny. If you like that, that's up to you. But you can get both results with this dress. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you, uh, look, a little mishap. I forgot to wash the bottom of this panel here. I don't know why I got this, but I missed the driver door up here. It's not really that horrible. It's just, you know, a little bit of light dust, a little film, but I'm going to use this stuff in a rinseless wash method or waterless wash method. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, but you can do it if you're not caring about the swirls. See how many swirls I have in here? Yeah, this is my own personal vehicle, but I'm going to clean this little area up. Now I'm gonna saturate this and let it let it do its thing and then saturate the towel and just gently wipe and kind of roll as I'm going along am I being that exacting no not really I just wanted to show you guys that look I missed a spot it's not that big of a deal I wouldn't do this on a customer's vehicle. I'm just using it on my own, but ooh, wow, nice and slick. This stuff is nice to use for quick touch-ups. If you want to use it like a quick detailer, you can, and it leaves a nice slick surface. All right, not bad. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the weekend wash. Lots of stuff in this video. So really happy with the OE products. To give you some pros and cons on them, um, the black tie, which is their tire dressing, is a solvent-based dressing. I'm just not a fan of solvent-based. It's not really a con, that's just a personal preference. That, that's just for me. Application, super easy. And the results, really amazing. Really like this product. So easy to apply, you just saw how I used it with uh, the microfiber applicator. You can use a sponge, you can use a brush, use whatever you want, or you can spray it onto the tire if you want that super glossy effect, but I just don't recommend that because of the sling. But this product, awesome. The Pink Fancy, it's all pro for me. There's absolutely no cons with this stuff. The only thing I can think of is maybe longevity, but if you're using it on a constant basis, on a regular basis, then what difference does durability make? Because if you're gonna wash your vehicle every few weeks and apply this stuff over the entire vehicle, you will always have a layer of protection. It's so easy to use, full sun, paint, glass, everything, it just works with no streaking, super slick. So we'll see, you know, when we wash it next time, um, it was on that back panel. So you remember that now. I will um, write that down or put that up here on one of our whiteboards uh, because I wanna keep an eye on that protection. Smells nice, applies really easily, and uh, it's a win for me. I really love this stuff. Now they also sent out some other products and wheel cleaner and their incredible extractor and carpet cleaner. We'll try this stuff out next time, or maybe even on our jobs, you might see us use these products. So stay tuned for some other interior and exterior videos uh, in the coming weeks, because we'll be using that product. Now we also use today Meguiar's Citrus Blast Wash and Wax. This stuff is awesome. It's really, really nice. It smells like orange juice. Again, you know, a nice smelling product is not necessary, but makes for a nice working environment and I love this stuff. This would be for your maintenance washes. You can put it in a foam cannon. Um, it foams up really well. Now it foams up better in the bucket than it does in the foam cannon. 
I don't know why. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you put it in the bucket and use your traditional two bucket method or however you safely wash your vehicle, pick up some of this stuff. Meguiar stuff can be found at Car Supplies Warehouse. Check out the links down below. I'll try to get links to the OE products. They sent us these products uh, for free, so I thank them for doing that. They're not paying for this video or anything. Um, in fact, these products, any of the products that companies do send us, I do get them for free, but they're not sponsored. They're not paid promotions. They're just sending them to me to use them, to try them out, to see what I like. And yeah, there was, it was kind of a review on the products, but it's more pros and cons on how to use the products. I was really happy with those. We'll see how the other ones perform, but let me know if you've used those products. If you like them, if you don't like them, give me some of the pros and cons uh, and why you like or dislike some of those products. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And guys, I know a lot of you are watching these videos and not subscribed. Why aren't you? Help us grow the channel. We are now over 10,000 subscribers and that's awesome. But you know, the more subscribers, the more our channel can grow and the more it unlocks features in YouTube. So hopefully by the time this video airs of this week, which is going to be starting February 24th, the week of the 24th, hopefully I have the merch shelf underneath the video where you can actually purchase t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all that cool stuff. So definitely check down below if you wanna purchase some of the merchandise because that helps support the channel. And the more stuff you buy, I can actually do giveaway. So I will purchase some products that aren't sent to me and I can try them out, and then I can also send them to you as a giveaway. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. You're still here? Really? I got nothing else. I gotta save stuff for more videos. But if you wanna check out some other videos, I got two right here. And also check out the other blocks that are like in front of me if you wanna check out some of our merchandise or other stuff. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna go.